What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Common Coder. My name is Josh and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upload your project from your local computer to GitHub. So we'll show you how to initialize a Git repository, create the repository on GitHub, and then finally connect the two. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, so in order to upload a project to GitHub, we have to have a project to start with. So what I've done is created a project on my computer and I have it open here in Visual Studio Code, gave it the name of demo project. This is the name of the folder. And inside of it, I just have a simple HTML file, a JavaScript file and a CSS file. All this does is display an H1 on the screen, also loads the style sheet and the script, the style sheet, basically sets the background color to dark blue and then sets the text color of my paragraph and my H1 to yellow. And then in my script, I have it set up to dynamically create a paragraph, which basically has some text that says this was added dynamically and then it automatically adds that to the document body after two seconds. So what's going on in these files is a little out of scope for this video, but this will work on any project regardless of whatever language it is. All right, so before we can upload our project to GitHub, we actually need to make sure that it is a Git based project. So we need to be using the Git source control uh, inside of this folder, which it's not currently doing. So what I'm gonna do is open up a terminal and I can do that by pressing control tilde. And you can see there is my demo project folder. And what I'm going to go ahead and do here is type git init. Now this assumes that you've already installed git on your machine. If you haven't done that already, I do have a video that I'll link up here in the card. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't installed git already. All right, so now that we have a Git repository, we need to go ahead and commit our files uh, to the repository. So we need to create an initial commit before we can upload a project to GitHub. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is run the git add command. And I'll just say git add dot, which is going to add all of the files inside of my project. And we can see in Visual Studio Code here what's happening. Basically, when I said git add dot, it added to this staging area uh, for the files that are going to be committed when I run the git commit command. So if I say git commit dash m, and then I'm going to go ahead and say initial commit. And we can see here that my files have been committed and I can run git status. And it says I'm on branch main, nothing to commit, working tree clean. Okay, so this is just for getting this initial repository set up. Um, in order to upload files to GitHub, they need to be inside a repository. So let's go ahead and switch over to GitHub and see how we can get this project into GitHub. All right, so I'm on the Git homepage here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on my avatar up here in the right hand corner. And I'm going to click on your repositories. And up here in the top, I'm going to click the green new button. And what we're going to do is basically create a repository in GitHub with the same name as the project on our local machine. So repository name is going to be demo dash project. So you're going to want these to match. Otherwise, it gets kind of confusing trying to figure out what your project is on GitHub versus what it's called locally on your machine. It's better just to name these things the same in both environments. You can give it a description if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank. You can also choose whether the repository is public or private. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on public. Then it's going to ask you if you want to add a readme file. So to avoid conflicts and make this process as easy as possible, we're going to leave this unchecked and you'll see why we're going to do that here in a minute. We're also not going to add a git ignore file. And for the license, we can go ahead and just leave this set to none. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is create the repository. And the reason why we don't want to create a readme and the reason why we don't want to create a git ignore is because that will actually create a commit in GitHub. And then there'll be uh, basically divergence between what is on GitHub and what is on our local machine. So we don't want to do that. We want to basically just push the things as they are on our local machine to this repository, which as of right now is just that initial commit that we made uh, to commit our files. So what's cool about not checking those options is Git will then give you these options uh, for either creating a new repository from the command line. So if I hadn't ran git init on my local machine, this would create a readme file. It would initialize the repository. We would add the readme uh, to be staged. We would commit that change. We would make sure that we're on our main branch and then we would add this repository as my remote origin and then push to that branch using git push dash u origin main. Okay, so quite a bit going on here. We've already done quite a bit of these steps. We've created the repository already. We created our initial commit. 
So all we need to do is use the second command here, which is to push an existing repository from the command line. And you can see what commands this is going to run here. It's going to add this repository as a remote to my local Git repository that we were just working with. Then it's going to set the branch to main, and then it's going to push that repository to uh, our origin, which in this case is GitHub and to the main branch. So this is basically what sets up the tracking from our local repository to our remote repository. So to make things simple, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this command here. And then I'm gonna go back into VS Code, or if you can do this from the terminal, if you're just working with the terminal, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste this command down here in the bottom. And you can see it's going to run these three commands. So git remote add origin, it's going to add the address of that remote git repository to this repository's remotes. Then git branch dash M will basically rename whatever the current branch is to main. So in this case, we're already on main, so it's not gonna do anything here. So just be really careful you're not on another branch when you run this command. Uh, make sure that you're on main and all your code is up to date on your main branch. And then it's going to go ahead and push uh, this branch using the dash U flag, which stands for upstream. And it's gonna push it to origin, which in this case is GitHub to the main branch. Okay, so a couple different things going on here. It's adding the origin setting the branch to main, and then pushing this main branch to the remote's main branch. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter here. All right, and there we go. We can see this operation was successful, and we can see that the branch main was set up to track origin main, which is exactly what we want. So now if we go back over to GitHub, and if I refresh my demo project repository, you can now see there are my three files. And so now whenever I'm working with my files, after I make my commits, I can run git push, and that will push the changes from my local machine up to GitHub. So let's go ahead and see that real quick, and then we'll go ahead and wrap things up. So let's go ahead and just make a change to our index file. Let's go ahead and just add a paragraph here by using a P element, and we'll just go ahead and say this code needs to go to GitHub. All right, so I saved my change. I'm going to go into the command line and stage the changes. So I'll say git add dot, then I'll go ahead and say git commit dash M and provide my message, which is added paragraph to index.html. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And before we push the code, let's just go ahead and double check in our remote repository. If I click into index, current version still just says hello from demo project. Now if I go back to VS code in my terminal and then I run git push, went ahead and pushed that change up to GitHub. And if I go back into GitHub, I can refresh and we can see now there is my new paragraph. Thank you so much for coding along with me today. If you like this video and found this information valuable, please leave me a like down below. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're gonna be learning a lot more about Git, GitHub, and web development, and I would love to have you along for the journey. So until next time, be sure to stay curious, never stop learning, and I will see you all in the next video.